the show, my guest today is Rika Rivka Markel. She's going to talk about, I guess, how our thoughts create reality. And that's so tough because we can go so deep into this topic, but you're going to break it down for us. How are you, Rika? I'm doing great. And I'm so happy to be here again with you, uh, Neil. Always very inspiring. Uh, so yeah, our thoughts create our reality and that's the basis of everything. And I think it is so simple. We we keep saying that sentence, our thoughts create your, our reality, but what does that really mean? And how does that affect our daily life? I think it's an important uh, topic to talk about. So we have about 70,000 thoughts per day, an average of 70,000 thoughts per day. You can imagine that those thoughts are, you, most of it, most of them are in your subconscious mind. They're not conscious. You, you cannot grasp 70,000 thoughts. So people ask me all the time, how do I know what I am thinking about? And it's very easy. Your thoughts create your reality. So you look at your outside world and you know exactly what you are thinking so it's not when we are, we, we talk all the time about the law of attraction and how we can attract what we want in our life and not what we don't want. So one of the first things we need to understand is when we do the visualizations and the affirmations, the only reason why we do that is it because it is influencing our thoughts. And because we look at something, we think about it and we create it. Okay. So how the thoughts, so basically if we have all these good thoughts that we're going to be successful and we really believe in it, it's going to happen, but we don't know when it's going to happen. That's the hardest part, right? We don't know when, but we have a clue because you see the, the universe has no concept of time. Time doesn't exist. So when you are crystal clear, and your thoughts are really aligned, it's going to show up in your reality right now. There's no there's no discrepancy. Usually the reason why things are not coming, and we spoke about that in previous uh, videos, so you can definitely take a look and see what we, talk, what we said about that. But the reason why things are not happening is because of all that shatter that is going on in our subconscious minds. And in order to change that, we first need to understand what's going on. And then we talk about the, like, the, the people that surround us, they have a very important role because they show us what we are thinking. And it's very painful sometimes to look at because if you are surrounded by people that are negative or they don't believe in you and, and you feel like you're not supported, then it's time to take a good look at yourself and, and ask yourself, what am I thinking? Am I really believing that I am going to do it? Because if all the people surrounding you tell you all the time, you're not going to do it. It might be a little voice in your own mind that is telling you this. So that's what you have to change. And I think that that one person believes in you and then it's a domino effect. You get someone around you saying, I really believe in you, but we really want to build and develop. We don't need other people to validate us. We validate ourselves that we can do it. And that's the hardest transition for anyone in their lives is to say, you know what? I can do this. And I don't care what anyone says. I know I'm going to do it. Yeah. And you have reality. You've already done it. That's part and, of the and thought. This is the thing. It's also the, 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 the question of, it's always the, the chicken and the egg. What came first? So when you know, when you start to really believe that you can do it and you get out of your own way, that's when the people that believe in you are going to show up. Not because all of a sudden people believe in you, but because you started to believe in yourself and your thoughts, you're thinking I can do it. They create your reality. So you all of a sudden, it looks like all of a sudden, of course, everyone believes in you now. They all, now think all of a sudden they believe in you they, and you, 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 you meet people that are saying you're going to do it, but it's only after you started to believe it yourself that it's, it's like, it's a very thin line. What comes first? The belief in yourself, it's, it usually goes together. But when you see the people surrounding you changing, you know you're on the right track. And people that before were not followers of yours become followers of yours, meaning, wow, they're listening to me. Yeah. 
They're yeah. building an expectation that I'm somebody. Yeah. They're doing something amazing. And you're like, you're doing something. And it changes. I'm like, whoa. Everything shifts. Yeah, the and so then people that you mind. know might have bad mouthed you on social media a year ago, uh, really now they're like, how can I be part of this? And you're like, yeah. this is one of the lessons I guess we have to learn is that we, if we create, our thoughts create a reality. Even people that maybe we didn't get along with at one point in time, based they may be based on us. Yeah. Now we can reintroduce that relationship in business or uh, family life in a different way because now we have a different outlook on life. Yeah, exactly. What happens is when, let's say you have a certain conflict with somebody, but now you're going to work on yourself to change that, to shift what's, up, what's, what's happening. You look at it and you say, okay, I know what this means to me. Now I'm going to change it. Two things can happen. Or that person disappears out of your life or that person gets with your program. It's one or the other. There cannot be a gray zone. When you change your mind, then the people around you will change or disappear. Let's go thoughts, create your reality. One more time. I go and look at this. I'm writing it down and saying this. Let's give you an example. We're already predicting things to happen. Oh, it's going to be a horrible day today. It's going to be a horrible day today. I'll give you a, I, I tell you, if you could just predict the worst things to happen to you every day, it'd be very easy, right? To create. That would oh, be yeah. easy creating. Yeah. And I'm going, to, I'm going to add another layer because you see, as human beings, we are created to see the danger around us. So we have a natural ability to see the negative because the negative is going to keep us safe. That is what we like when we we're still living in the caves, if we didn't pay attention to our surroundings, we were dead. There was no way that we could survive. So it's the survival instinct to see the bad, to see the danger. So you have to have you have to do an active and conscious, you have to take an active and conscious decision to see the good. You have to make a choice. It's not something that comes natural to a human being. You need to make a conscious decision. I am going to connect to the positive side, not to the negative. And so that's how I'm going to create what I want and not what I don't want. Well, now, because we have Rika on the show and I've been reading, listening to the book of Esther Hicks and, and her late husband and it re- Jerry Hicks. Yeah. One thing they didn't talk about in the first book, uh, they talked about how our thoughts, you know, we create, we're creators and basically we attract almost like cause and effect, explain all that stuff. How do we respond to negative things that happen to us? What do we do in that way? How do we, how do our thoughts, when something just goes wrong, you're not going to have everything go right every second of the day, right? That's not ever happening. Not happening. And that not happening, especially if you're a risk taker that takes different things. You're not just trying to stay here. I'm going to make it easy. Yeah, you might not have a lot of bad things happen in your day, but you're not going to have a lot of great things either. So how do you respond when something goes wrong? Well, I think to say it with Esther Hicks's uh, expressions, she would say, get get it, get it over with as soon as possible. Just when you, it's like she makes that, she makes that uh, example that when you are on a train and the train goes down, it's very hard to stop the train. So, and what you should do is just like, let it crash as soon as possible and then get up. Like just uh, say, okay, now it's over. And and another thing she would say, like when you're in a negative thing, go take a nap. Just go take a nap. Let it, let it just sit there. Don't, don't give it more energy. The more energy you give something, the, the, the bigger, like people say, I need to get rid of this negativity. But if you, if you give it if that if you give that negativity more energy by thinking about it how you're going to get rid of it it just becomes bigger so the the best way to get rid of it is to just drop it not give it attention and get over with it as soon as possible get up and just dust yourself off and and move and on you're gone okay yeah, okay and do you, do you also kind of even create it that like uh, napoleon hill talks about that there's a seed of benefit in anything that might go wrong do you, can you also, can you also kind of reverse it? Like, you know, you have a difficult client. Hey, I have the best client in the world and I'm ordering it and affirming that it's the great client. And then that kind of gets out of your mind. Like then in your mind, you believe it. I mean, yeah. the, law, the law of reversibility, I think it was that I learned about yeah. before. 
that's another way to create your mind. Exactly. If it's something... Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you can also try to see the good in everything by seeing the opportunity in, instead of seeing the, like sometimes the universe is going to say no. And then it's going to look as if it is bad. But then if you let it go, something much better shows up. And then you're happy that you didn't engage. Let's say a, a, an amazing business opportunity comes and then it falls through, not happening. And you're extremely upset about it. But two days later, even a bigger thing comes up and you wouldn't be able to do that if you would have taken on that first one. So sometimes you have to look back to connect the dots and to see the miracles. Uh, is it okay to look back? It in the moment, you might not see it in the moment, but if you can just allow it to unfold and surrender to whatever is happening to you, then you will afterwards say, okay, it wasn't that bad after all. Is it okay to look back? Yeah, th there's nothing wrong with it. it. The only, it's always the same thing. Your thoughts create your reality. If you're dwelling in it, if you're going to give it attention, if you're going to think about it all the time with, with very heavy emotions, emotions that are like the negative emotions are very powerful. If you're angry about something, you're going to just create more of it because it gives like a, like, like Neville Goddard says, the feeling is the secret, but he doesn't say the good feeling is the secret. The feeling is the secret, you know? So uh, if you create an, an you, you have a thought and you create a very um, harsh emotion with it, I guarantee you it is going to unfold in your reality. There is no, it, it cannot not unfold because it's a law. <laughs> yeah, and then that makes complete sense. Thoughts create your reality. When did you figure that out, that your thoughts create your reality? Did you start looking at, specific things that happened in your life to see, oh my gosh, I did bring it, I did create it into being, as, yeah. as Esther you know, Hicks talks about. Like, yeah, there is a difference between knowing that your thoughts create your reality on an intellectual basis and really understanding what that means. So I think I knew already that my thoughts created my reality was when I started reading my self-development books when I was late teens and early 20s. But it, it's only like the last, let's say, 10 years, then I, I don't want to put a, 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 an amount of years on it, but it's only very recent that I understand the depth of it and how crucial it is. Like there is nothing else. Like your thoughts create your reality, period. And it is very like it's you say it in such an easy way. Oh, my thoughts create my reality. And that's it. Okay. But 70,000 thoughts, can you imagine if you want to have them under control? That wow. doesn't exist. You cannot get your thoughts under control. So you have to do it in a different way. You have to rewire your programming because your programming is going to determine your thinking and your thinking is going to determine your actions and your actions, your results. So it's like a whole mouthful for a simple sentence saying your thoughts create your reality. It's an easy thing to say but it's not so easy to also like really master it. Wow. You know, thinking about what you're saying and saying the, 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 the process and vibrations is something we need to talk about further. And do you teach that when you work with people one-on-one -on -one with vibrations, looking at the vibrations? hundred percent. Because again, there is like one of the things that I that I'm very passionate about it's probably the one thing that I want to bring to this world is that it, you cannot win this game of of life without knowing the rules so you need to understand the laws of the universe and the rules of the mind and once you combine those two you will be on your way to create what you want and not what you don't want. But it is something that we don't learn at school. So that's why I create all my courses, my individual um, working with people. It's all about understanding the laws of the universe and the rules of the mind. How does your mind work and how is how you can manipulate your own mind so that it works for you instead of against you? All right. Where... Can people find info on you? Where's the best place? Best place always on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. You, you see my videos and then all the links of the things that I'm doing are usually below. 
All right. Well, excellent. Great conversation. I guess maybe go into vibrations next, but everyone remember our thoughts create a reality and it's amazing what we want to watch now after we figure out our thoughts, because we can go delve into a lot of drama shows and different things and we can feel pretty darn bad about ourselves and it could create the rest of our day. Yes. Instead of spending time, even it could be the most outrageous stuff that manifests into something huge. That's why watching documentaries, watching things of people with success, yeah, read success for us. All right. Good talking to you. You're listening and watching the Neil Haley show. We'll be back in just a moment.